How's it going YouTube? In this video I'm going to talk about uh, one of my old projects uh, called Freight Forum and it's currently um, it's currently online here and it's in CodeIgniter and what I want to do is totally recode this website using another framework called Laravel. Um, at this point in time CodeIgniter has fallen out of favor a little bit in PHP and um, this other framework Laravel I've done a few projects with it so far and I've really enjoyed developing in it um, so what, we're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch things over to this one uh, Laravel is a bit more powerful uh, compared to CodeIgniter has more features um, it's a bit bigger and um, I, I've enjoyed uh, working with it so far so what I want to talk about in this video is not totally about code I also want to talk about just some general considerations um, when you're developing a project by yourself, um, which is what I'm doing. So this uh, website freight form, uh, it's just my own personal project. There's no other developers and there won't be any other developers on it. I'm going to do it myself. So I think in this situation, one of uh, your first considerations you need to think about is yourself. And what I mean by that is to know your own strengths and weaknesses. So um, I don't know very many developers out there. Actually, I don't know any at all that are expert front-end developers and expert back-end developers. So um, in light of this, uh, you know, I need to think about myself and what am I good at and what are my strengths and weakness, strengths and weaknesses. And for myself, I have uh, more experience on the back-end side of things, on the server side, using um, PHP and stuff like that and working with databases a lot. So uh, knowing that I'm not an expert front-end guy, um, what I want to do is I want to take advantage about of some resources that could be on the internet, and that could help me um, could help me kickstart you know things on the front end side and do a lot of the work for me, um, so I don't have to. And I can also end up um, with a good looking website. Um, first and foremost, when you're choosing a CSS framework to work with or um, you know a, a template to use. Um, you need to make sure it's responsive. So um, websites today, uh, it's basically a must. Now your website must be um, must be responsive. Let's see if uh, this old one is responsive. No, it's not. The old one is a fixed width site. So um, when people are visiting our websites now, we don't know if they're um, we don't know what kind of client they're visiting on. So there's no there's no correct width for websites anymore the correct way to do a website now is responsive so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a CSS framework which is um, bootstrap 3 and you can see um, information on that at um, getbootstrap.com but um, just to leverage this even further what I'm actually doing is I'm going to use a bootstrap 3 theme and there's a website I like to go to and it's wrapbootstrap.com and there's a bunch of um, Bootstrap 3 and Bootstrap 2 themes here. And you can basically just browse through them and choose one you like. So when you buy one of these at the you know very uh, inexpensive cost that they are, $18, uh, $16, stuff like that, um, you're not only getting Bootstrap, but you're also getting um, all of the things that they've added on to, um, added on to Bootstrap and their own you know custom... Uh, custom tools and custom modules within it. Um, the one I've chose to use is this smart admin right here and basically this looks amazing and it's it's got a lot of the um, the features that I want so um, you know I'm creating a sort of business oriented website so there's a lot of um, things here that are going to be useful for me graphs um, lots of different tables there's going to be a lot of tables in my site of course tables um, also come within uh, you know bootstrap 3 but um, they've sort of they've sort of taken it to the next level um, there's charts and all kinds of things like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leverage this and I'm going to um, you know sort of harness the power of this save some time and use that um, to kickstart my website um, in this other pages here actually I can't remember where it is but um, there also has like login pages and registration pages that come with this um, which don't come with the regular bootstrap 3 so I'm just saving tons of time like here is the um, here is the login page which looks great and, and I've used this and there's also um, a registration page 
um, which is equally nice. 